What's new in the loo? Tune in. Up at the city, found you in SCF for the first time. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna tap in with these restaurants, we're gonna ask them what's going on with this Taste of St. Louis event coming on this weekend. We're gonna give you the info you need to know, alright? So let's go to it, dude. Let's get to it. <laughs> Press Waffle Company. All right. And then, uh, when did you start? Uh, so we opened here on August 11th. August so just 11? about uh, three and a half weeks ago. Okay. Is that when the foundry, the St. Louis, the city foundry uh, had this grand opening? That's correct, yeah. So 11 of the kitchens here opened on August 11th with, um, I think, uh, nine more to come here in the coming months. Okay. Now, were you always into chicken and waffles? You know? I'm sorry? <laughs> were you always into chicken and waffles? Um, I mean, we, we, love, we love everything about the waffles and uh, all the toppings that come on our waffles. Chicken and waffles has definitely been you know, one of our most popular items since we've opened. Um, and yeah, we, we like to think that we do it pretty well. What did the whole concept come from just to create this business? Yeah, so my, my wife and I are local owners here. Um, and uh, we've partnered with uh, Press Waffle Company Corporate. It started out of Dallas, Texas, and uh, the founders, uh, two brothers, Brian and Caleb Lewis, founded Press Waffle after Brian and his wife traveled overseas, uh, tried an authentic Liege-style waffle uh, while vacationing, and uh, decided to, to bring that back to the United States and uh, create a number of different creations and recipes uh, using that waffle as the foundation. Are you originally from St. Louis? I am. Okay. Yep. How do you feel about the new changes and improvements that's been happening into our city? You know, you got the soccer stadium being built, and of course, the city foundry is up and running. It's super exciting. I mean, I've, I've never been more proud to be, um, you know, part of this city, and especially, you know, being part of the city foundry development. Um, you know, it's uh, it's an exciting time to be a St. Louisan. A lot of good things happening in the city, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to all what's you know yet to come. Now, what's some popular favorites as far as your menu? So uh, since we've opened, the chicken and waffles has been our number one seller um, on the savory side of, of the house. Uh, and then uh, from our sweet creations, we have the house, uh, which is uh, we start with a warm liege style waffle, um, put Nutella and cookie butter on as sauces, fresh cut strawberries and house made whipped cream. That's our best seller on, uh, on our sweet menu. Oh, man, that sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be out of the good drinks at the yeah, end to see what we're talking about. Yeah. And I see you got coffees and espressos as well. That's correct. And then we use um, string bean coffee. There's a local coffee producer. Coffee means about uh, a couple of miles or so from here. Okay. okay. Yep. And uh, what is that I was operation just for people that want to come back and get something to eat? Yeah, so during the week, uh, Monday through Friday, we open at 10 uh, and close at 9 o'clock Monday through Thursday. On Fridays, we're open later until 10 o'clock. Saturdays were open from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. and then Sundays were open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, that sounds good. And, uh, you know, the taste of uh, the St. Louis is going down this weekend, so uh, are we expecting y'all to be participating in that? We're ready, yeah. We'll, we'll be here and uh, we'll have our full menu up and, and ready to go. All right, that sounds good, man. It was a pleasure just to meet you, man. We're going to order some off the menu and uh, do some business with you. Yeah. We're going to go from there, you know what I'm saying? I wish you the best. We're going to come back this Saturday. Sounds great. Appreciate you guys coming by. All right.